Good, uh, good afternoon. YouTube Dave here. You know, if you notice that I, I'm always, my, my hair is always undone. Because I normally have it cut. And because of this lockdown, they just recently opened the hair salon. Um, but uh, I'll bring more details into that after these messages. Good uh, afternoon, YouTube viewers. Uh, Dave here. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm going to turn the microphone, my uh, the camera over to the left, to the right, correction. The roads are pretty muddy. Towards the left, it's a bunch of water. Towards the south, pretty much you can see a a lake amongst the road. Luckily, uh, I'm in a vehicle, I'm in a truck that has four-wheel drive, just in case it, were, it gets stuck. No, I'm not driving a Ford. I'm driving the best vehicle there is for four-wheel drive is Chevy, pickup, GMT, from GM Motors. <coughs> the, uh, The weather's gotten real bad. I start to worry because I, I have a feeling that I might end up losing the watermelon. Um, as you can see, and I can and I can barely see from here, I'm, I'm hoping you, could, you might be able to see from here. There's a rainbow up in the east side towards the Austin area. Uh, it always signified that if there was a, that, that it was going to stop raining, but it, that's, that's not really true. Um, it's the real, real bad rain clouds over there towards the north side, uh, north of, uh, I'm going to say, uh, Rockwall area. Um, rains have continued all day long, and if you can see, the roadway is full of water. It's still full of water. Uh, when I arrived here, it was, it was, it was you actually couldn't even see the roadway. Um, but um, I sat back. I sat back there because I picked up a hamburger and I figured I better eat dinner now. Um, this is not really considered deep. It's just that it's really not advisable to be driving over water. It's not deep, and it's not running over to the sides, but it, the weather channel always says, don't don't be driving over water, especially when you can't see the road. Well, I can see the road up up ahead, but um, it's recommended not to be driving in these type of conditions. But since I'm in the farm, I gotta be doing this. I gotta, I gotta drive. Now, see this this area right here, pretty much turned into a creek, and I rolled down the window. But um, there's a lot of gnats and mosquitoes, and I wanna stay within the aircon. Now, right here, this particular area, it's all water all the way down. If you look towards the north side. I'm going to turn here into the farm. By the way, this is a private road, so usually if you see a vehicle in, in here, it's probably farm-related. And as you can see through the sides, there's a lot of watermelon out there, but that should be on the, uh, if you if I point the camera towards the west side, 
there's not a watermelon out there laying out there. It's still growing. Hopefully it's not drowning. Hopefully it's not overfilled with water that the taste, it, the sweet taste might lose its taste. I hope that doesn't happen. Not yet. It's too early. It's only been ready for two days. I'm hoping that as long as it doesn't rain for the whole week, we should be able to salvage this, this crops. But the way it looks on this side, where that big rainbow is at, I can see some hardcore rain coming this way. And uh, and although you can maybe be able to see the the rainbow, let me roll down the window here. You can probably see the rainbow right there. Um, not looking rainbow, but you can see there's rain showers right in the middle. But, um, still, <clears throat> I'm going to park over here for a little bit. I should have stayed where I was, but it's pretty heavy. Um, you couldn't even move an inch without spinning out. Actually, it's probably the same here, but the land is a little bit higher, which means that you can get a better grip here. I'm gonna turn in here. I'm figuring that if I get, if I sink, if I sink to the bottom, that's what I get for going into a wet field. If I don't sink, that means that. The terrain here is still hard. I'm going to park it right here. I'm going to back it up. And I should be okay, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay right here. That way I just stay right here. I can still watch the, the storm as it comes. As it comes towards us. It's obvious that these clouds are slowly, slowly moving toward the west. <clears throat> Other than that, I can't really, can't really tell you what's going on. Other than I'm gonna stop and relax for a little bit, um, and um, maybe just close down this video for now. Um, we're coming up to seven minutes. No word of what's been going on with our trip. Hopefully, and I'm hoping that by September I should be able to travel. I hope. Uh, I do have tickets and hotel stays available, but um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to travel. I need to contact the uh, travel agency to find out what what's going on because the, um, they never got back with me. Oh. I'm going to end this video for now and y'all have a good afternoon. Be safe out there. This is Dave relaxing just a little while. I got the whole night Got a lot of work tonight to do. So. Yo. Look, I don't know if you can see the rainbow. The rainbow's right there, right, right in front of us. It it, it kind of ends towards the area often, and it begins pretty close to Plagerville or Rockwall. Uh, of course, the rain is starting over here. Uh, my camera's waterproof, but I, I really don't want to get it wet anyways. As you can see, the fields are all pretty much wet right now. Hopefully, the rain will come down enough for us to pick up the rest of the watermelon. Oh my gosh, look at my truck. It's, I've, seen, I've seen it the first time. Totally dirty. Anyways. Y'all have a good uh, good day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's blog.